So I've talked about the importance of drying cannabis properly, so I should take it inside the drying room. Now while drying can occur outdoors, it is definitely not advised because of the variability that can occur, uh, the rain, the humidity, the fog, uh, not a great um, area to allow efficient drying. Typically it's done in a room with controlled conditions. I'm going to go over what those conditions are. So it's very important to have a clean room with excellent environmental control. You want to have tight uh, regulations over the temperature, typically around 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius, and humidity starting at about 45% and decreasing throughout the process. It's important also that this room has very little light, um, that's at least on, other than when someone's in there inspecting. It's also a good idea to have even air circulation, but do not have a fan directly blowing on the, on the uh, drying buds. Kind of, kind of want to keep the air just moving in the room, uh, but not in any one hot spot there. Monitoring the conditions is definitely advised uh, because this will have a great impact on your final product. Integrating a monitoring system that can ensure consistent conditions will improve the dry room, the dry room conditions and help ensure a consistent product. So having a way of monitoring and checking and tracking um, are all systems definitely well advised for the uh, for the dry room here. Now the placement of those buds uh, can be put on screens that are not surrounded by leaves to keep the drying process even and consistent. So that's kind of the name of the game here. You don't want to have everything all piled up in one area. You can see all of these different rungs. It's all pretty much one bud thick. They're not really piled on top of one another very, um, very deep to allow that kind of even drying process. Typically these screen st structures are hung from the ceiling to allow good air circulation. We can see there's multiple in this room here. Some growers, this is not an example one, but some growers like invertible racks, they can help avoid flat spots and save labor while increasing the overall air circulation. What these invertible racks allow them uh, growers to do is they're all sealed. They can literally, there's a hanger here and a hanger on top. They can take this whole rack, flip it upside down and rehang it now from what, what was previously the bottom to help increase the um, tumbling of those buds at least once to allow for better air circulation. You want to be sure to label each harvest uh, screen with a date, variety, and person doing the harvesting as we see here. Inspect daily to ensure the room conditions um, and evidence for even drying. Again, that um, person of harvesting is also important so you can tell um, how the buds were trimmed potentially or how they're drying or how they were placed and also knowing the cultivar and the variety and when uh, it was harvested. A way to determine the uh, degree of dryness or whether they're ready for the curing process is do something called a stem test. Uh, if you take an area near the buds uh, and you try to bend the stem area, if it bends, then there's still some dry time required, and if it snaps, you're ready for the curing process. Larger, denser buds may take a little longer to completely dry, so double check the moisture content on these even when the majority of the other buds may be dry. Those may have to just go a little bit longer. Now, dry time, freshly harvested products should be dried and ready for packaging process in about 7 to 10 days. Some can cut it as low as 5 to 7. Uh, typically, going over 10 is not advised. The goal is a final moisture content between 12 and 15%. So if you harvest here on Friday the 20th, you're looking at 7 to 10 days would be your ideal uh, dry time window to get the maximum amount of time uh, for profit and producing the highest quality buds. Now in the dry room, we mentioned some conditions you want to have. You also want to avoid some conditions, particularly light, UV light in particular. Uh, don't want to have a lot of that in the room. Heat above 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius and friction, which removes a lot of resins. Meaning you don't want to put the buds on this kind of screen and then shake it all around uh, to get them to dry because that could uh, remove a lot of the resins and reduce the overall quality there of the buds. So this goes over some conditions that you should have in the dry room, what you should look for, and some conditions you should be avoiding to allow high quality uh, buds for your harvest.